we're back to the learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the Polar Grid tool. We can render a Polar Grid under Extensions, Render and Grid. The menu is a little bit complex, but I'm going to guide you through the basics. So let us check the live preview and we've got our Polar Grid right here. The first parameter is the center dot diameter. So it's just the center circle right here that you can adjust. I'll just keep it to 5. You can see the numbers out there, which indicate the degrees. You can set that to none. So now it's gone. And the two parameters below, they affect the size and the position of the degrees, so of the numbers. So let me get them back with the drop down. I'll increase the size, and you can see it overlaps with the polar grid. So I'll increase the label outset, and it's all in pixels. You can see what it does. Let me put that to none again, and we'll go to the circular and the angular divisions. Angular, these are these lines that go from the in to the outside, and the circular divisions, these are the circles. So let us start with them. We've got five mayor circle divisions, which are these. If I increase that, let me go to 20. And you can see now we've got way more. The second parameter is important, so you'll have to adjust this size in the second parameter according to how many circular divisions you've got. So that makes the polar grid bigger and smaller. So let me go to 5 and 100 pixels. We've got subdivisions that you can see. So we don't just have these mayor circular divisions, we can also create subdivisions. You can adjust it uh, logarithmically. So the subdivisions uh, have then a different spacing. And we can adjust the size, so kind of like the stroke weight of these divisions with the last two parameters. The angular divisions, we've got a chance as well to adjust the thickness, so the stroke weight. But the first one we're going to check is the angle divisions, which are these. So right now it's set to 24. And we can adjust from the center specific angle divisions. So these are just for the first mayor circle. So if I go down to two, you can see what it does. And if it has the same value as the angle divisions, you can see there is a kind of like a seamless transition. There are also subdivisions and minor angle divisions and additives. So the first parameter, it's interesting. In some cases you might need it. But the second one, it creates very abstract effects. You can see that right here, for the most part, you don't need that. I've never used it myself. So the subdivisions, you can see them right here. Let me set that to 1, and I'll keep the minor angle divisions to 1. So if you've got what you want, click on Apply. And it's treated as a stroke, so when you hold Shift and you click on your colors, you can change the colors. When you give it a fill, you create this effect. So best way to deal with it is to either treat it as a grid and then draw with the Bezier tool, or just turn the stroke into a path on the path, and then you can play around with it. And this is how I can use the product grid tool in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.